See what's going on in the transmission room today. Jake working on the 10R80. I kind of got a mess in here. I got a bunch of units out right now. And uh, yeah, CDF bushing. Imagine that. Another one bites the dust. Old bushing slid in there. So here's a question. Why is it that we see so many more expeditions in F-150s on the 10R80s than what we do with Mustangs? It almost never see a mustang honestly we don't really get them very much you guys think that's because there's less of them out there to tear up or do you think that the extra weight that the expedition in the f-150 has plays a part in how often these things tear up because i'm telling you guys these 10 r80s are dropping like flies i mean this is literally all we do now i can't even work on six sevens anymore because all we do is pull transmissions and rebuild yeah so let me know what do you guys think uh why we don't see mustangs i have have seen one or two but it's just I mean, we got herds of expeditions in F-150s, but we almost never see a Mustang. Uh, very rarely see Rangers either. If you're wondering what the upgrades we make are on, when we do one of these 10 r 80s obviously we got a brand new machine lip CDF drum. You see the little machine lip there, so that can't slide anymore. Then we got this anodized shell, which keeps it from beating the inside of that bad boy out. And then obviously we got the good stuff here that but that is a raybestos clutch we sometimes use the gpz's and then sometimes we just use the regular ones just depends on what we can get they both work really good and the gpz's are just a little bit more aggressive yeah so other than those things though we're definitely gonna put a new one of those in there because that'll make you uh, upset when your trans doesn't work right because the valve body's messed up so yeah that's pretty much it clutches seals drum drum we're gonna do a new valve body and then we have some new converters on the shelf over there. So yeah, keep our light. <laughs> Woo. She's right. Next up on the list right there, 10R80, 10R80, 10R140, 10R80, another one there. Guess what? 10 R80. Hmm. Because mm -hmm. who wants to resize Teflon seals when you can just buy a new one? So much easier. <laughs> It'd be nice if Jake didn't have the AirPods in and he could talk to us.